there, Selena here and Zion, and this video is going to be his 11 month update. So this month he is 26 pounds and 2 ounces, and he is 29.2 inches tall. His clothing size is 12 month. You can still fit into 12 month though. They are starting to get tight lengthwise and that's mainly because we cloth diaper and these things are like ugh, big. So that causes um, you know him to have a fluff butt and so we are going to start putting him in 18 month clothing and probably try or buy some 24 month. He wears size four shoes and we get wide because he has such fat feet. So we actually bought these shoes from Payless and they're size four wide. Um, his foot is really like a four and a half. So he'll be out of these probably in the next few months. But I absolutely love these shoes. They're really easy to put on. We don't have a uh, too hard of a problem putting on these shoes uh, not like his other shoes so yeah walking he's walking so much better now this month last month he learned to walk this month he learned to stand up from the ground he squats he runs or at least he fast walks but that's his little run so um he is babbling more uh, his babbling is starting to resemble words so like if we say something his babble may kind of like resemble what we're saying but for the most part everything that he says still kind of has like that B sound so he's still mostly stuck on the B so the ba 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 is uh, what he usually does I am doing some more signs with him the main one that I've started incorporating is please so I will say M I L K I can't even do the sign but I will say M I L K and then I'll go please or I'll go up please Usually I just, I add please to everything and thank you. Oh, and hot. I think this is hot. It's either hot or it's warm. And I think this is warm. This is hot. But whenever something's hot, I just go, it's hot. And then I'll blow on it. I think that's the sign for hot. I'm not even like 100% sure. But I need to learn some more signs. Like the ones for colors. Because we do do colors every now and then. Which actually, uh, one day we were going over his colors with his color cards. And I kept like, I just say, he'll hold one up and I'll say the color and then he'll hold up another and I'll say that color. And he just goes back and forth between two and then a lot of times he'll put one down and pick up another one and I'll say that new color. And then one of the times he did that with the green card and he put it down and I was going over the two he had in his hand and then I was like, where's the green? So I was like, where's the green card? And he picked up the green card like he didn't like he searched for a minute and then he picked it up I didn't point to it or touch it or anything he picked it up I don't have it on video or anything so as soon as I picked up my phone he was done with colors but as soon as I get that on video I'm gonna have that on video for y'all because he only did that once he hasn't done it again but he hasn't wanted to do the color since then so he copies pretty much everything that we do if he sees us do it he will try to do it himself so like he knows he knows how to put stuff in the trash now. He absolutely has to push the garage door button whenever we come in and watch the garage door go down. Um, he, and this is like the cutest thing ever, he carries around one of my pens and paper and every now and then he will sit down with the pen and the paper and he'll just uh, drag the pen along the paper. It's just so cute. So the pen and the paper are one thing that he likes to carry around all the time. The other thing that he always likes to have it is in his hands is a spoon, which um, I will actually have a vlog for you guys like two weeks from now that actually shows him stealing my spoon and then walking away with it. Getting sick right now, he is actually just kind of sick and I am too just a little bit. Um, when I start getting sick, I usually sneeze a whole lot and then I get sick afterwards or I don't get sick but it's my sign of getting sick and he actually started doing that like a week ago and then after that now he's got a stuffy nose and a very very small cough and right now the only thing I'm doing is 
just making sure that I breastfeed him whenever he wants and when he takes his nap and goes to sleep at night I turn on his humidifier though when I because we do share a room so when I go to bed at night I turn the humidifier off because it has a light on it that I can't turn off while the humidifier is on so I just turn it off because I do think that the light bothers him while he's sleeping. But that does help clear up his nose. Sleep issues, we've been having some issues with sleeping. Um, and more so now because I'm trying to get back um, to being consistent. So our main thing is the fact that I haven't been consistent. And if you are having issues with your kid, um, like in any area, just... First, check yourself and make sure you're being consistent because that could be one of the problems. It's my problem. It's why we're having issues with sleeping and also issues with him being clingy is because I haven't been consistent with anything. Yeah, that's something that I need to work on. So I actually plan on making a video in with this in the future, but I actually found a solution that worked for us with him being clingy and it helped him to not be clingy anymore. But then when my mom came back, I stopped doing it. Uh, and it also helped like, I was kind of like starting to lose my patience with stuff and it kind of helped me um, not to lose my patience and it helped him not to be clingy anymore but like I said when my mom came home I stopped doing it and that goes back to being consistent and that's why we're back to having a problem with him being clingy again so that's something that I'm going to be working on this next month TV time we are not going to be doing TV at all only because I don't 100% have control over the TV like when my mom or my brother's home so before what we would do is we would do like an hour of Sesame Street during the day and I had actually got it to where after that the TV was off um, and then we wouldn't put on another show for him until later on that night after bath time. So just TV two times a day and he would watch like an hour, two hours and a half of TV. But because I don't want to have 100% control over the TV, um, a lot of times the TV does being on a lot more than that. And I don't like the fact that he's 11 months and he will sit and watch an hour of TV, just sit and watch. I, I don't know why, but I just don't like it. It bothers me so. When it's just me and him at home, the TV will be off and then whenever they come home, they can turn on the TV and put whatever on. That's fine. Um, he is waving now. The first time that he waved, you guys, I was so ridiculously surprised. We were in the store, and he was sitting in the car, and a lady waved at him, and he waved back. And it was just the most random thing, because he's never waved before. And then he just starts waving at this lady. And when he waves, he puts his uh, thumb in, and he waves like this. And it's just the cutest thing ever. And he blows kisses. He goes, mwah! And it's just the cutest thing ever. I love watching him blow kisses. Tantrums. He's starting to throw tantrums now. Whenever we take certain things from him, so like if I take my phone from him, he will, well I don't know if it's a tantrum, but he, he gets mad um, and he yells and cries and he falls down. But so whenever we take my phone, um, a pin or like a fork from him or if there's something that he wants and we won't let him get to it then he'll get mad at us and a part of me wonders if it's because he's not sleeping as well as what he was before if that's the reason why he's throwing the tantrums um, because really and truly he's tired and I also wonder if it's kind of in reaction to some of the other stuff that's going on like again because of he because he is starting to get clingy again like my patience has gone down again so I don't have as much patience with him as I would like which is something that I'm going to be working on in this next month coming up there's this part of me that feels like his tantrums are in reaction to not getting enough sleep and um, some of the things that are going on with me in the house and then there's also my mom like she doesn't mean anything by it but like, I know, like, when she tells him no, it only makes him want to do something more. So, like, her parenting style, they kind of butt heads with, um, I guess, discipline-wise. I'm pretty sure he gets that from me because I was the same thing when I was a baby. So, from that, I've learned not to tell him no. So, like, if he's doing something he's not supposed to or in something he's not supposed to, I would just ask him to come here, please, so that he's not in it. And usually he comes, but he's actually, he's not even doing that anymore. But again, I think it has to do with not getting enough sleep. 
Um, so usually if I say come here please, he comes to me me a stop. And um, he's also stopped re responding to his nickname Tuntun. And he only responds to, well sometimes he'll respond to it, but he mostly responds to Zion now, which is his full name. And yeah, I, I don't know. And that's fine. It's something that we'll work on again um, this upcoming month. We have quite a bit to work on this month on top of the fact that we are going to be moving. But uh, yeah, that is his update. So that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. New video every Sunday and every Wednesday. If you have any requests, please let me know. And until next time, deuces.